back here and today we are skipping all of the episodes because this was just a tree for you guys i'm not going to be actually playing minecraft story mode it's just that a lot of people have been wanting me to play this not you guys personally it's just my friends saw my channel and they were like dude do you have episode 6 of minecraft story mode and i was like yeah why he said you should definitely do it like skip all the episodes just do episode six and i was like all right i guess if it's something for the viewers and yeah this is like a one-time thing so i'm not going to be doing episode five um episode four episode three episode two and also episode one we're going to be skipping straight to episode six sorry guys if you want to let's play on this but yeah, uh, this is just a one-time thing, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. We might do parts. Previously or... on Minecraft oh. Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Wapow. Fifty portals, it's not that much. Like I can count to one hundred. If there's alright. Alright. Let's go. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Okay. Where are we? Oh, hey bat. Oh, fly, fly! You gotta fly! Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. uh, uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. Definitely you owe not. me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you around. it was a dumb bet. Would you guys quit goofing around? This is kind of a serious situation. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Mm. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. They can handle okay, themselves. so maybe they did, but they can handle themselves no problem. They'll find the next portal just like we did, and hopefully we'll all be back together again soon. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys oh, see book. some sort of shape over there? It's a book. Yeah. What is that? Let's it's find a book. out. Can you hear me, Jesse? It's a book. Move closer to investigate too. You clearly see it's a book. Let's just do this. Hey, what what the hell is this? Why do I have a crown? Put it on your head. Pop. Okay, let's let's examine this. It says invitation. And then read immediately, your life depends on it. Oh. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, God. that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. You've got your back. My God. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Toss it here! <laughs> Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. 
Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, we already the got that warning. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. Mm -hmm. You think this right. host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked okay. because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Boy, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I guess that's where I we're go going. Out on a limb and say that's the place we're looking for. Are you guys the there? damn house? Oh yeah. I don't miss so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse. Let's beat Petra's ass. That too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! God! before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? Well, that's not... That front door's definitely a no-go. Yep. You said it, Pedro. Oh, stick with me, I guys. have no clue what this is about. Just saying, I have absolutely no clue what this is about. I don't know what happens. <sighs> I'm not just gonna play a game just cuz just cuz it's new. What the, the heck? hell was that? What?
What'd you see? You just gasped. L like you'd seen um, something. We're on talk later. Talk later. Good plan. <gasps> Great! There's no door back here. That looked like oh, a white pumpkin. I know pumpkins are orange and you might think I'm crazy, but that was a damn white pumpkin. Uh oh, a window. There. Okay. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Please. Good plan. Go, 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 go. My inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Is there another way in? Um. Okay, nothing else. Just hope nothing. the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Huh. Invitation to wow. die for. Some kitchen. Oh, dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Mm. Jesse. Are you going to take this one, or shall I? This is Torque Dog, sir. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Oh, me. Are you saying that with a Z? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, okay, let me just say something for a second. My dog's name, my dead dog. This is pretty sad right now, so uh, you might want to leave for a bit if you don't like sad stuff and then just come back later. But yeah, my dog's name is Jess, but we called him Jesse and he was a boy. And I love that dog. I love that dog so much, and I can't believe he's gone now. It really took my heart away from me, but I'm over it. It's been a few months since it happened, and yeah, I bet you guys just want to see this game, so yeah. Whew. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Come on, that was hilarious. You would know all about loser patrols, wouldn't you, loser? Whoa! You fronting right now? Is that what's going on? What do you got, like 12 fans? Torque Talk, cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped, so we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just how many try are and here? look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm, most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone. Uh, Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea guys, of zombies um, isn't normal. It's good to hear. Okay. As I told you guys, so so you don't miss any of the words that these guys say. Um, as I told you guys, I have no clue what this is about, and my friend told me to play it, so yeah, I have no clue what this episode is about. So yeah, let's get back to it. Two moons is normal though, right? Um the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from like out of town or something? Oh. oh. Did you hear that? Oh, oh, oh what? Oh. What did oh. you hear? Oh. I think it's time to die for cover. <gasps> Damn. Hey, Damn. Jesse. Jesse, come here. Me? Okay. You've got a, a girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> Those were his final no. words. Like, 
dog? I would have said, remember pork me. Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would um, be... Ivor. <laughs> Jesse isn't just a girl's name. <laughs> All those arrows, this inventory, everywhere. How I didn't want to mess Ooh. around saying One that. One of these alive, the next... Gun. Pull yourself together, man! Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Oh, that's Everyone a Everyone cool. stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? He has pink pants. He should be the girl, man. Pink wool. Uh, who would a pork do chop. This? I guess he wanted to stay alive. That's, that's good enough. I like pork chop. He had an iron. He had iron. This he had gunpowder, gunpowder, gunpowder. He had three eggs. Why would you have eggs? Jesse, have you figured anything out yet? Well, there's an arrow and his inventory. That's an... All right, look at this Guys, arrow. Guys, I found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? This guy is weird. Mm. Smells like yes. Military school. Potion of poison. Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Um, Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities like are fascinating. What? Would you stop I pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. You say you know about these tipped arrows? Anything else you know that you're not telling us? Well, you're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hey, I got a tipped arrow. So, yeah, we've examined these, these tipped arrows. Now we gotta examine his inventory, which is full of crap. Oh, gone. <gasps> now we gotta examine the damn trap door. How many things are you just gonna make me stay on my knees here for? Two days later. <laughs> just looking around. Got nothing to do. There's right. a trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Oh, hello. hello. Everything okay in here? Oh, whoa. What's with the crowd? I, uh, What's with the crowd? I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Who's that? Hmm. Okay. These are all the YouTubers here, so... I read you. Excuse How? me? Uh, yes. Th that doesn't seem possible. It's a long story, but that's actually impossible. There's no way we could have met before. I'll show you. Follow me. Um, I recognize okay. that voice really high. I really recognize it. Hmm. Lucy, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. It's LD Shadow <gasps> Lady. Yes, I found it out. It's LD Shadow Lady. Lady, Lizzie. Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, not <laughs> perfect. Absolutely. Oh, he has clown nose. He has a clown nose. Must have been when we showed up. Something. Flattering how something. well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. Is that what I think it something. is? I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Is that really who I think it is? Oh, well, that's definitely damn. not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Damn. Let's huddle up in the dining room. It's Stumpy. Wonder if he told Everybody's them. Everybody's friends. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Oh, who's that? Ooh, I hope there's cake. <laughs> it's Stampy! Yeah, it's not. Come on, let's what? do this. Come on, Winslow. So there's Captain Sparkles. Oh my god. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. 
It's Stampy! Wait. Here, let me in. Okay, let me say one thing. Did Dan's hair just change? It was literally brown. And now, we just walk into the room. Bam! Blue. Let's see what happens. Introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. I this knew is it. Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat. Never met. And that's Dan. Stampy. The Diamond Minecart. Dan. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Yay! You said there was news. Is it good? Good news? Bad news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! No. Wait, what? Hey. But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, he, he yeah, acted like a human earth machine. What is going on here, okay. Sparkles? We, we have, we have, alright guys, we have to tell him the truth. Let's show him the arrow. These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa, what the hell? How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get what greedy. What the hell do you care? Why do you care so much about Torque Dog's stuff? I was just... <laughs> I was just wondering, okay? I'm I'm a curious person. So I'm looking at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. He kind of deserved it. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I don't know, maybe? Well, Charles. someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, I'm they could be scared. hunting us! Please, I'm not scared. I faced way worse than some creepy house. Yeah, maybe we should try to be a bit more courageous here. That's the spirit. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Oh, Stampy, sorry, Stampy. come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst. Lizzie, psst. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on. Detective time! It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Does anyone know what game that Lucas... Okay, just say this in the damn chat. What game did Lucas say? Try to guess what game that Lucas said in the chat. I'll give you like, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, 20 seconds to say what you think, what game that Lucas just said. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. You guys run out of time. Try try and figure out uh while we're doing this uh, live stream. So yeah, if you're watching this as a video as well. Uh, comment. Yeah, comment. So yeah, let's get back to the game. Bam. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating then. I just have to look at this. I, I just have to. This thing has a mouth. It has a line. Detective Jesse has already found something. Glitch! Glitch! 
This cat, this cat, this cat is a glitcher. Um, who killed Torque Dog? Let's let's all guess here, and let's guess who killed Torque Dog. My highest suspicion. Cassie Rose is kind of suspicious with her glitchy cat, but not the most suspicious. The most suspicious is definitely Lizzie. Definitely. So we have Dan, Stampy, Stacy, Lizzie, Cassie, and Sparkles. Let's go. How about uh, we should talk to the closest first? Dan and Lizzie. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Why interested in this stuff, Lizzie? You disliked torque dog. Why target him? That's it for now. Um. Yeah. The biggest interest in me is why were you so interested in this stuff? It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. I guess. Why target him? You dislike Torque Dog? Why target him? Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. Um. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, well, can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, you just like Torque Dog. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I know. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Yeah, you okay, have to see that. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? Hmm. It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. I guess Stampy. Stampy and Stacy. Let's go. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? I know that a lot of people can be too old for Stampy. But it's Stampy! It's Stampy! Everyone loves Stampy! He has over 7 million subscribers! No one dislikes Stampy! Alright. Um, who would kill Torque Dog? Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally. But I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. Definitely Don't know if you Lizzie. noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Um, Stacy was interested in this stuff. Why doesn't Lizzie like him? Thanks, that's it. Why doesn't Lizzie like him? Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was Damn. super upset about it. You don't say. Damn! Stacy was interested in his stuff. Well, there's nothing else to say, so I guess that. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. 
Yeah, no problem. No prob. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. Sturdy Cat? <laughs> so did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Agreed. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> oh, Winslow. You mind I if like I ask that. you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Okay. Why would someone kill him? What about Lizzie and Torque Dog? Um, Cassie and... Cassie, you got upset before. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Why would someone kill him? What about Lizzie and Torque Dog? I talked to Stacy. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. Why would someone kill him? What about Lizzie and Torque Dog? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. He already had me at rare item. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? I actually have one. I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just use it a little no, while ago to put get... put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why, uh, Torque Dog died? And Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Damn. Is he getting suffocated? Stampy keeps on saying panic. As usual. Adventurers, I am the White Pumpkin. One of you has the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder.
actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? I'm so getting out of here. Ugh. Why? So much Just for a nice dinner. Why? heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? My God. Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. You seem weirdly calm right now. Aren't you scared? Terrified, Jesse. This white pumpkin is doing things I can't explain. And now it appears that he wants to kill me. So, yes, very scared. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Yeah. Torque dog, trap. Sparkles. Trap! Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. <laughs> Doesn't seem safe to want. Okay, guys, did you see that secret? Arthur? Um, uh, Ivor said crime scene. If you've seen Dan, he, he actually gave them the angry face. So, yeah. Replay the live stream if you didn't see that. Or video, whatever you watch. Let's get back to the game. They're off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Okay, fireplace. Impressive. Anything? No, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Wow. Just like oh. before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like the before. treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand. With a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail. Make us think there were two White Pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, and now he's just watching us get snared in it. 
Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved laying, to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We connect the evidence. We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the traps show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Oh, this is crazy. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes. Crystal Loud and clear. clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Hmm. It would kind of feel weird just shouting Stampy or Lizzie. So, yeah, it would like make me feel so much better saying Dan. Dan! Dan! Yeah, that sounded so much better in my head. <laughs> Dan! Dan! I can't, I can't say Dan. Saying Dan. your hair gray, Dan. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and still everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Get wrecked. And now everything's gone completely crazy. Mm -hmm. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. You invite people here for that. Uh, it means a lot. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just Damn. want you to know the truth. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Um, how's your redstone, Dan? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Who stole the flint and steel? Show me the arrow. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? Lizzie seems the most suspicious out of out of um, Stampy and them. So yeah, I'm pretty much suspecting Lizzie at the start. Exactly when Tort Dog died, I suspected Lizzie the most. So yeah, let's bring in Lizzie. Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. 
Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So you aggravating. You said you found it. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Um... Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Hmm. Um, did you take the final steel? How are how are you uh, making traps? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You got to talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. I wouldn't put it past Stampy, though. He'd love the chance to explore other worlds. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. No. Lizzie, you lied. Stampy? You yeah, lied. Send him in. Stampy does it. Stampy isn't the man to explore other worlds. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Stampy. Not um, as much as the Stampy others at any rate. did not take it. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat. Thank you. I knew you. it. I knew it. Lizzie, it's that Stampy. liar. Everyone's friend. Uh, yeah. He oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. I'm Stampy! Everybody You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Woo! Stampy! Please, just tell me what you want to know. Just go on redstone. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What, uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Fine. You caught me. I do lying? know redstone. He never lies. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. What what about the tipped arrow? Who stole the and steel? Tip you know arrow. anything about this? Oh wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Sammy. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. Okay. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Oh, oh. oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on! This is nuts. You had a button, too. Okay. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's she turn She took next. him in like he was arrested. Huh. <laughs> it's like the hey, interrogation Jesse. room. Ah, and my is. final it's suspect. Library. Here to point Probably more fingers and blame more room. people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. 
Me, um, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking guilty. to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn it. I missed it. Seems like a pretty complicated case. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. Thanks. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. I suspect Lizzie. Well, I'm gonna say so? Dan. I'm gonna Have say Dan. Have you decided? Dan. Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank Dan everyone for snappy. answering my question. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, Lizzie. but... Lizzie. I'm gonna say Lizzie. Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I'm suspecting Lizzie. Right now, evidence seems to point to Lizzie. What? No way! She's the only one I was talking to who had any idea about the tipped arrows that were used to kill Torque Dog. Oh, come on, guys. You can't really be doing this. I vote we lock her back up in that library and wait till morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Lizzie, but we can't take any chances no, here. Guys, you know me. I'm no killer. I'm not the white pumpkin. Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. The White Pumpkin Petra's got a good point. Watching. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the Lizzie dining room? Was a Conspicuous white pumpkins expert. lying around? Lizzie's a potions expert. We need to see if we can find anything that we can link to her. Like more of those tipped arrows. Got it. I'm on the lookout. This thing is eye holes. Does this painting have eye, eye holes? holes? Oh yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Punch it. Oh. It's some sort of secret passageway. Lever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion covered arrows. Nasty. Well, looks like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. Around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. Killer instincts. I hope Lizzie's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? You need to trust me. Hey, do you trust me or not? I don't need people second-guessing me on this. Jeez, okay, okay. Sorry. Oh, I didn't yes. mean to say it like that. Keep that temper up and people will start to think you're the white pumpkin. What do you think that is? No idea. But look, a lever. Nope. The amount of redstone wiring that must be Ooh, hidden in this place. Amazing! Ooh, mystery lever. I wonder what it does. You're not gonna pull it, are you? No. Don't feel bad. I was tempted to.
see anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. So it's Lizzie. I can see Lizzie locked up in there. Hmm. I'm gonna look out for his... Oh, it's Dan. I have to speak to you. Dan, what? How'd you get in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Uh, Lucas? But I have to speak to you. It's really important. Dan, slow down. What are you saying? It was me. I killed Sparkles. What? Dan, you're the white pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. I just, I don't understand. Wow. How could it be an accident? I oh. swear, I had no idea. There was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to push it. And I had no idea what it would do. Now I feel awful. Oh, You'll have to excuse okay. me I when I say it's a little hard to believe. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous. I've been beating myself up about it ever since it happened. And then you got locked up in here? I just had to come in and clear my conscience. What? Damn. Damn. The white pumpkin, he's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. <laughs> Hands. Yeah. What, what on earth? Oh, God. What's going on? Door's locked, Jesse! Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Okay, I'm gonna try and make them both die. I'm gonna help them, and I'm but I'm gonna make them both die. I'm gonna try and get, like, a secret here. I want to at least make one of them die. I want to make it funny. I want to see if I can find out some secrets here. Oh, Dan's gonna die. Ah, ah, get it off. Oh. Thanks. He's gone. For now, time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could, Dan, I could go and sit in the corner very worry, quietly and not that. touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. It's like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white... Enjoying the party? <laughs> That's my cue. Come on! Jesse, are you okay? You have to break through! <laughs> I'm gonna get him. This guy, this guy's fit. 
There! Jesse, I'll cut him off! Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm gonna say that he's the killer. I'm trying or to figure like this that. one out myself. Oh, you're the killer. Lucas, you're the white pumpkin. What? No, of course not. How? How could you even? Look, I was I was running after him, and then he punched me in the neck and stuck. What? Well, what's going on in here? No. <gasps> you called the white pumpkin. Grab him, quick. On it. Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah. It's Andrew, all out in the open now. Sparkles trap. Your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the White Pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Oh, oh man, I'm so help. glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. Yes, that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? And I don't trust you. That's funny, because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to Done. figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner um, rather than later. The suspect. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir crazy. One of these people still knows more than they're letting on. We need to talk to them till they crack. Sounds like a plan to me. Stampy and Dan. Talk to Stacy. Anyone else? No. Okay, we're gonna call, talk to Dan Stampy. Dan, I know that you're innocent. You're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Looks a bit laggy. I'll punch it. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, another secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what 
order these need to be in. Um, I'm gonna take this and replace it with this. It's all right. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Does it? So I'm gonna take this and replace it and 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 do all that. Mm, yeah, that seems right. And do some stuff and then place that right there. There we go. Awesome. Now I have it. Oh, Tobin. Woo! Oh wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. We're Technically all true. In this together. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Yeah, I hear you. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous <laughs> habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. I gotta go as fast as I can. I wanna win this. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> He's to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> God. Dot. Ooh, silver. See, told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just Yay. hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? these secret the passageways. Upstairs. No, I think he's still upstairs. We should still be prepared for anything. Hey, do Light you hear... Zombies? Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm starting to smell them, too. Oh, ditto. Gross. I know what's gonna happen. It's just gonna go like Wapow. It's gonna be Wapow. I knew it. Wapow! Oh, that explains all the zombie noises. Wap and pow. I feel. Huh! Uh, I feel. Uh, Where is she now? She knew she. Can I go back? Oh, I can't. Where is she now? She knew she. No. You, you guys are uh, YouTube stuff. What's that? that? I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to do some stuff. Is this actually a word? Is that how you say something backwards? I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. Suck it I think all up. Lizzie's. In, in. Okay. 
Where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. Surprise me like that. I'm a single block of space, way up in the air. Ah, let's never talk about it again. Ah. Is that a cat? Weird. Stampy! It almost sounds like. Stampy? Cats? No, Stampy. Oh. My pumpkin! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Armor stand. Meow. Meow. It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. That is Stampy. That looks like Stampy. That looks like Stampy. That looks like Stampy. It's what? Stampy! Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Looks like we're catching you in the act, White Pumpkin. No, no, not me. That's not me. I was just curious. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Okay. Where is this going? And you're not the white pumpkin. You stole the flint and steel. Woo! Uh, I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? So I this knew is people all your wanted fault. it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. So you're saying this is all your fault? No! Oh no, this is exact. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just give maybe that Dan. would make it all stop, right? Maybe? I think you should give it back to Dan. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's better. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Okay, I know a bit about this. I've seen oh, like a, wow. a tutorial how Very to pass this part. Creepy. I would not put this so in yeah, my I'm gonna do a little trick. Well, I'm gonna do a little trick. Where the meowing's coming from? Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that Jesse proves the magic. white pumpkin's identity. He knows what to. He, uh, this is this is Jesse from the future. Okay, okay, guys, we're gonna look at Jesse from the future. Okay, so. This cat needs a fish to get off. Bam! We are we we get the fishing rod. We get the fish. Cobwebs. Should be able to score some string from those. Even though we never knew that we needed the fish. So yes, go into this chest. Wait, why is there a broom stand here? I never looked at this. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, well, it can be yeah. Cassie. Well, it yeah, can she be did. Lizzie. So I'm that's the that. potion part. She what did. about the arrows? She did. You can't do anything with the anvil. So, 
Let's go like this. Guessing this chest should have. Oh, yep, you've got sticks. Don't you already Anything have else? like five thousand of them? Ender pearls. Sweet. That must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Every time he says that, I do not recognize any any elevator shaft. Okay, guys, future Jesse here. We don't know that we need this fishing rod. We just made it. What's that for? Trust me, you never know when a fishing pole will come in handy. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> what if I don't? I'm gonna see what happens if I don't do anything. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. And. Aww. There you go. Let me Jeez. look up. Wow. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Looks like a derpy oh, Petra. I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and oh hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. It's there was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone it's who's Cassie. a known cat. It is person. clearly Cassie. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? It's Cassie Rose! It's Cassie Rose! It's Cassie. The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. <laughs> Man, you're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is well, she the white pumpkin, now. but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. Catch us a wild pumpkin. We ain't catching us a dinner, we catching us a wild pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Where's Quickly, Cassie? where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Oh yeah, that. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Jesse. I forgot go about on. new stuff, guys. Is this going um, where I fast, think Cassie. this is going? The white pumpkin is the Cassie. The white yeah, pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse. I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. Hmm. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the womb. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. 
What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. Why did it only do that? This. I know. I was shocked too. Why a portal key? I'm relieved. But also surprised. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn Sorry. your friendship. Figure um, out who had it. I accidentally Cassie, pulled out my how could mic. you? We shared cookies together. Had it. Cookies! Well, the joke's on you because Stampy had the portal key the whole time. What? Stampy? Really? Oh, come on! Look at the big picture, people! Come on, the big picture! We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that! I can't! Pulled out no. again. This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah. I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! I'll Whoa! I found the trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Actually, she kind of does. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That's awful. Wow. The trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Oh, maybe I just oh, have to finish this cutscene. I've scene. never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel Dang. bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. At least we stopped, Cassie. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I'm just glad we stopped Cassie. That is true. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. So, there's nothing else. Except for this. And those trees over there. Pop! Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop. 
without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Leave Stampy alone, you guys. Like he said, it was just a prank. Uh, yeah, some <laughs> prank. Look how badly it went. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I think mean, you're right. Oh. oh, wow. I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true, I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who I think might be, be an old builder. Old. And she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Ah! a thing well that's ominous do you hear that endermites endermites and there it is jesse you're trapped stuck <laughs> just like i've been in this rotten world oh please i've gotten out of way worse than this cassie huh. i admire your bravado I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I, I hate this care. place doesn't mean it's so bad. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, you have to prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped for booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me the key, Jesse. Guys, no, no! Hey, Jesse, they're there. Guys, holy Blind. crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. 
Okay, get ready. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No! You can't do this! I've waited too long! It's mine! Cassie, I won't let you have it! No. 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 No, please. No. No! No, no, Winslow! Don't touch that! No! Bad Kitty! No, 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 Winslow! Bad Kitty! Stop it! Winslow! Good boy! Sweet Kitty! Bring that to Master! Stop Please, stupid bring cat. it to Master! You stupid cat! Don't threaten my cat! Only I threaten my cat! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! Did the cat just smile? No! The cat just smiled! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are! After all this time, I'm free! Winslow, we have to go! Come on. What have I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. And jump. And triangle. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Winslow, Winslow, come on. Dove, hey, we're pumpkin. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey! Hey, White Pumpkin! Yes, Jesse? Just wanted to get your attention. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. Ah! Ah! What's going... Ah! I've got it! Lucky. Excellent! I did it! You're all dying now! Uh, no, thank you! Got it! No! Why didn't you just get your own mate? <coughs> well, Jesse, I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me, stuck again, out of Ender Pearls. And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped in my own trap. I'm sorry it went this way. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... my only friend. Please. Um... I have to give Winslow. Like, she has no food, she has no water. So, yeah, I have to give... Here, him. kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to Master! <laughs> Oh, there you are! There you are! You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? 
One, two, two three. Adventure! Adventure! I said it first, Ivor. Some coffee. Copycat. Copycat, Ivor. Copycat, Ivor. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. Yep. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Yeah, you walk away. Okay. Um, refresh to download the latest choices. I don't care. I'm just gonna continue. Okay guys, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video or live stream, whatever you watch. But yeah, this has been really fun for me to play in. As I told you guys, this is a one-time thing, so I'm not gonna really be playing this game a lot. So yeah guys, I am L Black, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!